Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah! Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and welcome back to another reaction video. And today we are going to react to the second trailer of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Now we have a different um, setting right here. I'm inside my car. My main reason is that my brother is inside the, the bedroom, we share the same bedroom. And I'm not comfortable recording myself while he's around. <laughs> so there's that. With that out of the way, um, I've uploaded my top 10 most, most anticipated movies for the year 2023 um, just yesterday. And on my number 6 list is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And just earlier, um, Marvel was able to release like two posters and they look really good. And that can only mean one thing. Whenever Marvel releases a poster, a few hours later, we are going to get a trailer for it. And lo and below, lo and below, <laughs> and lo and behold, we now have the second trailer. Now, the first one was a teaser. Now, this is like the full-fledged trailer. I believe it's like two minutes long, and I'm just going to react to it. I'm a huge Marvel fan, huge DC fan, comic book stuff, um, all of those good things. But now... We are going to react to it. It's here on my iPad. And yeah, here we go. Oh, is that Kang talking? What? Oh my god, he got the blue face. They will they were able to incorporate the blue face with tech. What? You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. Oh, Oh my god. Oh, for you, this dynasty, dynasty. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Whoa, wait, what's that? What's that? Bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah. Oh my god, that looks really badass. All right. Wait, what's that? Uh the guy with the big head. I forgot the name of the guy with the big head. Um what's his name? Brainiac or something like that? No, Brainiac. Um I'm I'm googling right now. Big head, Marvel. Oh, what the, what the hell? I don't have internet on my iPad. Let me check it on my phone. Big head, Marvel villain. <coughs> Floating head, Marvel villain. It's Modok. Oh yeah, that was Modok. All right. Okay. Wow. Okay, that was pretty cool. That's a really good trailer. Um, wait a sec. Okay, so we're going to analyze this trailer. Okay. But so far, um, just like I said on my top 10 most anticipated list in which you can watch um, in my channel, I said the director 
Peyton Reed is going to he feels like the Atman movies feels like a pat uh, a palate cleanser you know a palate cleanser after watching like the biggest um like after any big Avengers movie Atman is always a palate cleanser now he said in an interview just a few months ago that he wanted Atman 3 to be around the level of the Avengers so that is a huge thing and that's what I'm getting from this trailer and it feels like um, I think his name is Jonathan Majors the guy who is playing Kang the Kang that he played in the Loki series is very different from this Kang this Kang feels more he feels like he's a, he's a man on a, on a mission he is trying to recruit Scott for something um, in exchange for Scott's missed um, um, missed time about um, when it comes to his daughter's childhood, right? Because he got stuck in the in the past for a long time, or maybe he he got stuck in the quantum realm during the Avengers: Infinity War days. He missed a huge gap of Casey's childhood, and I think he wanted to revisit that. And now I find that really interesting. It it makes the Ant Man this Ant Man movie more personal than ever. And, you know, I can't blame Scott for wanting that because, you know, he really loves his daughter. We've seen that he is like one of the... I mean, Marvel doesn't have a ton of good fathers, right? But Scott is one of those amazing fathers. An amazing display of what it is being a father. Now, it's just really saddening that... Well, I don't know. You know, let's just, let's just analyze. Let's just analyze this trailer right here. And I'm going to put images on, on the screen, by the way. So we got Cassie right here. What I... Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. So we... So a few... A few months ago, there were leaks about the Modok character being so called like some kind of a... He has a robotic face. As it turns out, um, on 058... I'm going to take a screenshot right here. 058... We got Modok's real face. Like, he actually has a human face. Now, I don't know anything about Modok other than he is a floating head. And we did get Modok from the Avengers video game. So, I don't know what his paper here, what his role here in the in this um, specific uh, movie. But from what I'm seeing, it feels like, again, Kang, the Conqueror, and Scott Lang are going to help each other out just to... Um, you know, so so that Kang can get what he wants and Scott Lang can get what he wants, right? But this, it feels like this is one of those Kang that are that is evil that the other Kang in Loki has been talking about for several, for I mean, for several times on the last episode of Loki. I also love the fact that they were able to, because I mean. When you try to Google the Kang character in um, what he looks like in the comics, he has a blue or a purple face. And they were able to incorporate that right here with the use of technology. So basically, he was just wearing some kind of helmet that makes his face blue. And that is really fascinating. That's a good use of... That's actually smart. That is actually smart. Even though they were trying to do here um they're trying to approach here like with an uh, um, realistic approach at the same time they were able to incorporate comic accurate costumes so that is pretty amazing so right here let me just take a screenshot and i'm just watching the trailer again just trying to look for any other things to analyze now i, I do wonder if casey as the other wasp character is all in for this for scott lang's wish to revisit the childhood i wonder if she's willing to i don't know maybe go back in time and just be a kid again i'm not sure about that i'm not even sure if this is all about time traveling or if this is all about what um um like jumping into different um, universes right there's a chance because remember when in Avengers Endgame um, Hawkeye went to the past and he was able to see his family there what if 
Hawkeye and Scott Lang had this conversation that, yeah, you know what? You can go back to the past and maybe revisit some events that in places that you were not there. So I think Scott Lang is trying to um, is trying to do exactly like that with the help of Kang. And, you know, the Avengers is uh, simply a huge group. And there are several, um, you know, it's only normal for each of them giving advices and stuff like that. The reason why Steve Rogers, Captain America, went back to the past because he wanted to take um, Iron Man or Tony Stark's advice about, you know, try having a family and, and sticking with your loved one and stuff like that. And that's that's one of the main reasons why we got old Steve Rogers. Now, I'm still not 100% sure what this army is. Um, it might be Kang's army. They also have like this blue fa uh, blue faces, helmet, and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what I can tell you guys about that. Because I don't, I haven't read any Kang comics um, in the past. So my basic idea of who, of who Kang is was the Kang from the Avengers animated series from the um, from the from the late 2010s, and the Kang that we got from Loki. And since they're talking about a dynasty or something like that, it feels like this is going to lead to Avengers Dynasty. I mean, Avengers Kang Dynasty. Now, um, just in case you guys forgot, we are going to get two Avengers film in the same year, six months apart, I believe. One is Avengers Kang Dynasty, and then the other one is Avengers Secret Wars. So, I wonder if the actions that Scott Lang is going to do here might lead to Kang's Dynasty, right? Maybe, um, maybe it's like a council of Kangs. Like there are several Kangs from different universe, from different universes, helping each other out to defeat the Avengers. I don't know. So yeah, this is this is the Modok that that we have the the one with the so Modok has two costumes here: Modok being faceless and Modok with the with the robotic uh, robotic face, and this is like. Like the one in the leaks from from months ago, and other people claim that it was fake, but as it as it turns out, it's actually true. It does have a different design compared to the to the leak one, but we got the basic idea of it that he does have some kind of a, a robotic face too, like a robotic helmet. Whoa. Man, I'm also really excited to see this face off between Ant Man and and um, Jonathan Majors. Like, wow! So that's the reason why he was really, really buff because we're going to see a scene of them just facing together with probably no powers and stuff like that. Because I feel like the Kang character is like a just character, and he noticed that Ant Man doesn't have any other powers other than um, turning small. I think. He decided to tell him, hey, you know what? Fine. Let's fight. Let's do a face-off. Let's fight one another with just our bare hands. And that's, I think that's what we're going to get. And I'm really excited to see this one because it's something fresh. Uh, you know, we, we keep on seeing fight scenes in the Marvel movies. But this is something fresh and it reminds me a lot of the Batman versus Bane thing when they were um, in the sewers. So I won. I, I, I'm not sure if this is like the climax of the film or this might something this might be some kind of scene where we will it will lead to Scott Lang's downfall right now I'm also I'm also wondering whether how Scott Lang is going to win against this guy because I'm pretty sure Kang can do some martial arts and stuff like that and Paul Rudd Paul Rudd is just a dad who can turn small that's that that's his main thing and he is very funny so I wonder if he's going to use comedy to win I don't, I don't know I'm not sure now this is the money shot right here oh my god wow wow i can't say any anything else but this is simply fascinating to watch and i also feel like we're still going to get a different kang on a, a ton of different kangs on avengers kang dynasty 
but yeah, that's my analysis on this, um, and my analysis and my honest reaction to Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. We are going to see this next month, you guys. I believe it's February 7, is it? Let me check the date. 17! Oh, that sucks. Anyways, that's fine. Super excited. Big fan of the Marvel series, and I feel like this might be the best. It, I mean, it's shaping out, it's shaping up to be the best Ant-Man film that we are going to get in a while. So yeah, that's my reaction to it, you guys. And thank you for watching. I do other reaction videos, and um, I also I'm trying to do honest reviews and also honest, just video essays and stuff like that. Subscribe to the Giga channel for more of this content, for more for more analysis. And again, thank you for watching, you guys. See you guys. Take care and goodbye.